What is up, VV family? This is insane. Disney has just released that they are going to be having a transformative potion that is going to be able to burn Disney collectibles into really amazing posters. Uh, this is the first time in history that Disney has done a burn mechanism. So this is a big, big deal. And I'm here to explain it to you really quickly and proficiently and what I think it means. So really quickly, Disney is going to be dropping the Disney 100 Platinum Moments series, which comprises of a Mickey Mouse, which is the uncommon at 4,100 editions at $60 list price. Donald Duck, which is the rare at 3,100 editions. Minnie Mouse, which is the ultra rare at 2,100 editions. And this is also her first appearance as a collectible, which is great. And then Dumbo, another first appearance, 1,100 edition secret rare. So all that's really easy to understand. So then the week after, exactly a week after, you're going to have the opportunity to buy a transformative potion from Disney, which to me is already iconic in itself because it symbolizes that, you know, Disney is really going wholeheartedly into this whole nft space and you know setting up a burn mechanism with a potion i think is just really amazing uh and this is the first one and you know the potion already in itself is super limited so there's an only 1923 additions so with this potion you essentially have the ability to uncap the potion and if you uncap it whatever collectible you own from that the platinum set you can actually then spawn pretty much a poster while then burning that potion now what's going to be interesting is some people are just going to hold on to this potion because to me it's already significant in itself and then some other people are going to burn it for collectibles so look how friggin nice these posters are folks so if you for instance got the mickey mouse and you wanted to use the potion then you could get this amazing poster here if you got the uh, Donald Duck and you wanted to burn, you can get this one. If you got the Minnie Mouse, which looks so crazy, you can get this as well, or you can get Dumbo. Now, again, when we go back right to the total edition sizes, uh, we, again, we had 10,400 collectibles released in this platinum drop, right? Now there's only 1,923 potions which means that the collectibles are, you know, five times more plentiful than the actual potion itself. So people are really going to have to make some tough choices here. So we actually may see that everybody really wants these posters. And then all of a sudden, it, everyone's almost uncapping the potion, which means that there might only be, let's say, 300 editions left at the end of the day of the potion. And after a month, if you haven't uncapped your potion, it remains uncapped and forever as that collectible after a month's time. So you have a choice within a month. Now, what's insane too is that a lot of these, a lot of people right now are presuming that Dumbo is going to be the most scarce poster because it's the most scarce collectible in the platinum set. But it actually might not be like that at all. Dumbo may actually have, you know, all those thousand holders of Dumbo may come in and burn it taking up half the total potion supply. So now all of a sudden we have all these Dumbo posters around. You know, other people might do it for the Minnie Mouse. And I honestly believe that the Donald Duck may actually be the most scarce with maybe less than 200 editions total because I think fewer people are going to want to burn it for the Donald Duck because we already have a lot of that merchandise. It's a less significant character uh, than Mickey Mouse. And then, you know, Minnie's is kind of the FA. So I don't know. We, again, this is all speculation. But what's going to be crazy is that all these things, the potion and these four posters are all going to be extremely scarce and the addition sizes have not come to be yet. Nobody knows what they're going to be because we're going to be burning for them, right? We're going to be essentially creating them with the potion. And in my opinion, I think there's going to be a lot of whales that are going to go crazy on this. They're going to go literally nuts and it's going to be kind of a status symbol uh, if you will, to collect all four of these and have the potion. Uh, so I think this is a really big deal, guys. I just wanted to do this video. I don't usually do videos like this, but for me, I just want to kind of talk about the possibilities here. And I just thought it was really neat to see, you know, Disney entering this space and doing something like this. And kudos to like, you know, the team on VV for, you know, whether that they push Disney to do this or whether Disney kind of was open to it. I just think it's going to be an amazing moment. And I, before I go, I also just wanted to talk about like, you know, is this going to devalue the 
golden moments. And you know, ultimately what's going on right now is that we don't have many new users and we have a lot of collectibles coming in. So if we had new users and there was all these new collectibles, then it'd be great because we'd still either see sustainability in the market or things would continue to go up. Um, but because right now it's a bit of a slow puncture wound um, because there's not many new users coming in. But what I've learned in Pokemon and Pokemon collecting is that, you know, the future uh, drops of really important IP. So in, I'm just going to use Charizard as an example, you know, still holds value. Like you look at the first edition Charizard, it's obviously really expensive. You look at a Golden Star Charizard, really expensive. You look at the first Rainbow Charizard, the first alternate art Charizard, like all of these things still have a lot of value. Uh, and so I still think, for instance, you know, Walt and Mickey is the FA. And I don't think at this moment in time, there's going to be retroactive utility because of the legal component of that. But I do think this is a good step in the right direction that we're starting here. And I think, you know, Vivi and Disney might see all the uh, excitement and the potential of this and what gets people really going. And it creates a dynamic in the market that we haven't seen before. Everything's been kind of stagnant. They, you know, they drop things. Is it amazing? Is it not amazing? Is pretty much a conversation. And now, you know, we're going to be able to create things that are amazing. We're going to have a say in what the market says as well. And I'm really excited about it. So I'm, uh, I'm, you know, keen to see what you all think, what you're going to be doing. Are you going to be getting really scarce, uh, you know, posters? Are you going to be keeping this potion? Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Are you going to be getting all the collectibles off the drop? Are you, you know, this is just such a crazy thing. There's so much to unpack. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm really excited to see where this goes. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, Hope you have a great week and uh, good luck on the drop this Wednesday and the week after with the potion. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.